In Unit 3, we will familiarize ourselves with the academic principle of completeness. This unit is divided into two sections. Section 1. Qualitative Completeness The principle of completeness implies qualitative and quantitative completeness of your research work. Qualitative completeness has two aspects. First, it implies a comprehensive adaptation of the research topic. All aspects that are relevant in order to answer the research question have to be addressed. Second, the principle of completeness implies the consideration of all relevant information sources. Upon availability, a researcher has to use all existing information, like literature or data, that stems from previous research. Alternatively, or additionally, the researcher has to collect new information by way of surveys or experiments. Please note that the principle of completeness is closely linked to the principle of accuracy. Naturally, if a piece of research is not complete, it is not accurate. Therefore, the principle of completeness is meant to be a clarification of the principle of accuracy. Section 2. Quantitative Completeness Quantitative completeness depends upon the nature and the requirements of the research project. In academic research projects, there are a number of elements to be considered in terms of quantitative completeness. The following elements might be named differently in different research situations. Still, there always have to be elements in research projects that deal with the following aspects. Research problem. In every research project, a section is needed that elaborates on the research question to be investigated and answered. In some cases, an explicit research hypothesis has to be developed and documented as well. Course of investigation. It is good practice and helpful to the recipients to lay out the research approach and to explain the applied methodology. Conclusion For every research project, a conclusion should be provided that summarizes the findings. Furthermore, a critical acclaim and in some cases even an outlook that goes beyond the investigated research question will be expected. Relevant lists the documentation of a research project should include all relevant lists that help the reader to support the perceptibility and to enhance the traceability of conclusions. This would encompass, amongst others, a list of figures, a list of tables, a list of abbreviations, a list of references, etc. Last but not least, compliance with an adequate number of pages according to prevailing circumstances or guidelines will be expected. In case of academic research projects, the instructor or thesis advisor should provide the relevant information to the student researchers.